Friends, I thought I'd show you today a new tripod that I really am digging, <laughs> like it a lot, is this one by a company called Newer, N-E-W-E, N-E-E-W-E-R, you want going to say Newer, but it's Newer, Newer. And I've bought several things from this company before, and it's always, always been built really well, it seems like. And I thought I'd just I'd show you how this works. It's a small tripod. Uh, I have various different tripods. Some are just, just too dang tall. I mean, I got one like this that I put my cell phone in. And, uh, and you know, it, it, it's, it's about, this, if I put it on a desk, it's, I have to look up at it and everything. It's okay put it in the floor or put it on, a, a I guess, a, a lo, some sort of low surface. Uh, so I've got a lot of number of things that are similar to that, but I wanted one that set a little higher than just these little screw-in tripods that set down low three or four inches. And this one sort of suits the bill, and it's very well made. I just can't believe how stout it is. As a matter of fact, I saw a review, and the only partially negative thing I saw about it, somebody said it thinks it's overbuilt. I don't think it's overbuilt anything. Nothing's overbuilt. But this was not very expensive. I bought it, again, bought it on Amazon. I'll put a link to where it, where it is. I'm not getting this for free. You just, you just pull these down. You have these little red things here that click into place. So that's like the lowest level of, um, of, of what you could do the legs right here, right? And so you can have your um, camera sitting real low on a table or whatever like that. Uh, it, it, it does have just a, a regular mount that you would put on the bottom of a DSLR. Or, I mean, I could put anything that's got that, what is that, an eighth inch? Uh, screw on it. That's the, pretty much the standard of everything. It screws in real nice and tight here like that. Uh, it's got a cool little ball. You just loosen this, this up here and then everything swivels really nicely. And you can just dial it into the level of whatever you want there. It tightens up really nice and tight too. And then you can, of course, you can go down different, different levels. You just click it down one at a time. Now I'm starting to notice this might be a little bit, it comes with an Allen wrench where you can adjust these these screws to tighten them up however you want to. That one acted like it's maybe it might have been a little loose. Maybe I'm just imagining things. And so you can go to this height, then you got all the way up to this height. Pretty easy, pretty cool to do. And then of course if you need it to be taller, you have these screw things on the bottom, these super nice rubber ends there to keep it from slipping. And and it's a little tricky figuring out how it works. You just pull it turn this a little bit and it comes out and if you turn it a little bit again then another part comes out turn it again another part comes out turn it again another one you don't want to like just try to yank it out so that i mean it did to tighten everything down you just go back this way and it's nice and tight right so then you can see what's happening here's a little groove and you do, do this and it easily goes in and you turn it back again and another little groove right here another little groove over here on this leg and you just keep turning it back till it goes where you want it but you can take these out to whatever length you want to create a pretty long tripod i mean it's uh i would say it sits better than two feet high if you want it to, if you want it to sit two feet high and how much does it weigh i'd say about a pound and a half i'm not sure something like that so it's not super lightweight but i don't want it to be super lightweight you've also got this thing here where if you want to you know go up and down a little bit more there or that's also what re releases it so you can swivel here and I imagine you could do a pretty nice pan with this, uh, tighten it up a little bit. And what happens when you've got it tightened up and you got a camera on there, I notice it's almost, it almost as fluid head in the way that it, it, it responds. It, it's got a little bit of grab so that it's, it, it's kind of creates a real smooth little movement there. I like it. I just thought you guys might want to see it. Uh, if you've seen them on Amazon or something like that. Uh, fear not they seem to be pretty good quality i've not used it i've only shot one video so far with it but i've been uh, just learning how it works and everything it's definitely gonna it, it's gonna fit well in my camera bag and that's gonna be a piece of gear that i'm gonna find a lot of use for and you just like to know that what you got is stout and your camera's not gonna fall off right and you're, it's not it's gonna hold up in the field looks like it's even threaded down here on bottom so if you want to hang something from the bottom a you know sometimes well, people have various different things that they might do with it. But, uh, hey, that's pretty cool. So you can even screw something in there on the bottom. I didn't, hadn't noticed that. You can maybe even you can maybe even do the tripod upside down like that and let the legs out a little bit and screw into it. I don't know why you might want to do that. I've seen people do levels and uh, 
you know, bobs and things that they'll hang from these or something to a, a weight to stabilize the uh, tripod and hold it down. So there's lots of different things you might do with that kind of a thing there. The newer foldable tripod, and I'll put the model number and everything for it in the description. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.